morning, friends, and happy Friday. This is my last weekday of break. <sighs> All good things must come to an end, right? Okay, so anyway, I hopped on here because I wanted to show you this really cool Etsy shop that I found out about. The owner contacted me via message on Instagram and invited me to come look at her awesome things and gave me a little coupon code, too, which was so generous. I jumped onto her shop right away, and I was like, ooh, these are cute. I'm going to go back on there when I have a little more time to look. So this was the day. And you can tell I'm kind of in the Valentine mode right now. So these are the things that I just ordered. Yeah, and it was hard. It was hard to narrow it down because I pretty much wanted one of everything. She has the cutest earrings, and they come in two different sizes, most of them. They come in small and large. And now I'm not sure the dimensions. They're probably on there. But look at that. So cute. So I have cupcakes with hearts. Have little red and white stripes. I have thinner red and white stripes. You can see these are a little different. And then I have like a fuchsia with black and white stripes. So there are layered earrings and there are just like single level earrings, whatever you want to call them. I don't know. They probably have a name. But they're so cute. And her prices are very reasonable and her shipping is very reasonable. Like this whole order, $4. No big deal. Coming from Florida, I can wait. That's why I'm ordering early. Because, you know, me and Valentine's Day, we're like this right now. <laughs> so I'm going to be prepared, man. Christmas stuff just for some reason kind of sneaked up on me this year. And I was not prepared. I don't know. I didn't know what I was doing, apparently. <laughs> but Valentine's Day, I'm all over that, man. I've already made my team teacher gifts mm -hmm. i'll be sharing those soon because you might want to do it too i don't know and i have some things to go with it that i will gift to you as a download so mm -hmm. but i can't share it yet because it's still a little early plus i don't want my teacher peeps knowing what's coming yep because some of them watch my channel so i'm gonna have to put a disclaimer before i show you stuff saying hey turn this off don't watch any further because you'll spoil the surprise but if I wait until Valentine's Day, it'll be too late for you to do anything with them. So I will have to share them early. But, you know, them's the breaks. Anyway, I've also got my student gifts. I've made a sample of one. And I'm going to make up the rest of them soon. Because, if you know, when you make up something, like a treat bag or something, it takes a while to put 20-some-odd things together like that. And you got to figure out what you're going to put in there and all that yada yada. But I have everything, I think, as far as supplies go for those as well. So I just need to assemble them. And I will be making videos on all of these things. So be looking for those probably the end of January so that you have time to make them if you like. Maybe the very, very beginning of February, like the first day or two, <laughs> so that you have time to go get the things that you need to make the things that I will show you. Alrighty, I'm gonna just relax and enjoy my last weekday of break. But I can't find my Amazon Fire Stick remote anywhere. So I'm gonna have to watch stuff on the computer. That's okay. I do kind of like watching things on the TV, but you know, whatever. You know, first world problems. <laughs> Alright, I've got two lovely ladies laying here with me today. Here's the Mangle Poo and the Mittens Boo. Mittens has been a little grouchy with Mango. I think Mango just doesn't smell quite right right now because of her ouchies. But look how sweet they are. My little girls. And Onyx is somewhere. I don't know. She's snooping around somewhere. That girl always seems hungry. Poor thing. I've already eaten my breakfast. And I've had some coffee and some water. And so I'm just going to kind of snuggle in for a little while. I probably will be running to Dollar Tree later because I stumbled across a channel last night when I couldn't sleep that is a lot of crafting and it's, I'll tell you the name of the channel when I figure it out. It's Southern Crafty Girl or something like that and she has a business where she crafts for a living like that is her income and she has some great things on there for Dollar Tree items. So there's a wreath that I want to make and she has these like bath cookies that she makes. So I will link her channel below so you can check out all her awesome crafty goodness. There's Onyx. Hey Onyx. Baby. What's you doing? Yeah. Hi. Okay. 
I am going to get back to this business of relaxing. So I'll chat with you later. Here's that shop that I was talking about. Scarlet J Design. She's a mama. Some cute little kiddos. Look at all the cute earrings she has. There's the cupcake earrings I got, and I also got these. Oh, I guess this shows the things I just ordered. I got these four things. And that's what drew me to her. I think she had posted on Instagram and somebody had tagged me in it. And then she, this lady that owns the shop saw my tag and she contacted me and asked me if I'd be interested in looking at her shop. And she gave me a coupon code, which I think I mentioned, but so nice and sweet. I love the Buffalo plaid. That is so cute. I would see. I'll probably get those too. Yeah. But I think I need to just chill a little bit. I don't need to buy all the things, right? We just had Christmas for Pete's sakes. But I do have gift cards <laughs> that are kind of apparently burning a hole in my pocket. So there you go. These are cute too. I mean, look, she has sparkly ones. She has floral ones. She has plain ones. Stripes, plaids, polka dots, sprinkles. That reminds me of a cupcake. Yup. I mean, look how cute. And there are a few down here that are different shaped. She's got some circles and she's got some like rectangle shaped ones too. But look how super cute. See, there's the long rectangle. It's like tubes almost. I like the marble ones too. Look, football. Be good for Super Bowl. So cute. Yes, I like those too. coffee shop. I didn't notice those before. Those are cute. Flamingos. Puzzle pieces. Just, oh, look at those red glitter. I like those too. Music notes. Llamas. Dinosaurs. Christmas trucks. Those are really cute. Sharks. See, she has a lot of different varieties. So, if you haven't heard of her before, go check out her shop. It is Scarlet Jade Design right there on Etsy. Okay, here is that YouTube channel that I was talking about that has all the cool craft things on it. This Southern Girl can. Her name is Amber, and she actually has... A business where she just that's how she supports herself and her kids she has really great ideas here's the video I was just watching about the bath cookies I don't think you can see the thing for that let's see hey y'all welcome back and this look how video, cute you how to make these really aren't those cute bath cookies you crumble them under the bath water like a bath bomb wouldn't that be super cute for Mother's Day? And she even said that. <laughs> It'd also be cute for Valentine's Day. And I'm thinking you could probably make heart-shaped ones if you used a mold. But those are so cute. So it does take a lot of ingredients, though. So it might be cost prohibitive for a gift from your students to their mothers. Because you have to have some kind of expensive supplies. Like citric acid and powdered milk and essential oils and things. But if you're just gonna make like one batch for like some friends or something, it wouldn't be too bad. But these are really neat. I was watching Jeremy Michael book yesterday. Hi Jeremy. And he got my secret Santa gift, yay. Or not so secret Santa gift. I'm glad it finally got to you. That was kind of a deal. We were having shipping problems, but I'm glad it finally made it to you. But he mentioned that he had sent me a gift. Uh-oh, I have not checked my P.O. box for over a week. Eh, maybe two weeks now. <laughs> so I need to go check that. I'll probably do that today when I'm out and about. But Jeremy, I'm sure I'm going to love it. Thank you for thinking of me. I appreciate you so much. And E.J. Kafoopals from Kafoopal Land sent me a Target gift card. And I forgot to mention that. So thank you so much, E.J. You're sweet. And yes, we're having all kinds of issues on my end getting her gift card to her. I don't know what the deal is. It's a Target E gift card. For whatever reason, it didn't go. I don't know why. I've sent gift cards to other people and it hasn't been a problem. So Target, I don't know what your deal is. 
I went on a chat with some customer service person and they're like, well, you should call this number so you could talk to someone in real time. I'm like, isn't that what chatting is? Isn't that in real time? I personally don't like to be on the phone. I'd rather do it on a chat. It's just a lot easier, but whatever. So I guess I need to find the number and call and see what I need to do to get this gift card going because my goodness, I sent it the 22nd of December. Yeah, so something weird happened and it never got to her email, so I need to fix that. But if you have not watched Jeremy or EJ from Kafupa Land, you should totally check out their channels. They both did Teach Miss, and they're both awesome. I love them. I've been following them, subscribed to them, friends with them for over a year now. They're awesome people. I would love to meet in person. It's going to be a little more difficult to meet Miss EJ because she's in Australia. Although, hey, I would love to go there. I've always wanted to visit Australia. But Jeremy, my boy, is moving to Kansas. And, you know, Kansas and Missouri are, like, right next to each other. Yeah, yeah. So, we have already talked about meeting up in Kansas City because it's about the same distance drive for both of us. So, yeah, I think we're going to have a meetup this summer. We're probably going to go to Ikea, find an awesome place to eat, probably find a teacher store somewhere, definitely need to go to Target, and just hang out and have a good time together because I have been wanting to meet him and hang out with him for a while. So I think this is going to happen because I can get myself to Kansas City. That is not a problem. Also, I think this year, sometime, probably summer, I am planning to meet up with Ann Lita because she's beautiful. She's a beautiful person, just inside and out. She just, through the videos, she just emanates just kindness and love and beauty. I just love her so much. We chat a lot on Instagram and through YouTube a little bit, but mostly on Instagram, she's just, just the sweetest person ever. And so she's in Chicago and we could probably meet up in St. Louis because that's about, it's pretty close travel time for both of us. So I'm thinking we're gonna make that happen this year too. So I see some trips in my summer. I'm not gonna do summer school. Last year my summer was engulfed with moving my classroom to second grade. So, unless something really funky happens, I'm not planning to have to mess with anything that way this year. <laughs> but, you know, you never know. I thought I was pretty much in first grade forever, and I wasn't. So, you just don't know what the future holds. So, I'm just going to keep an open mind and embrace all of the opportunities I'm given. Yes. Because what are you going to do? You can complain about everything and be grouchy. Or you can pull on your big girl panties. Make the best of it and move on and cover everything in awesome sauce. And that's what I've chosen to do. Has it been easy? No. But you just take it day by day. Sometimes minute by minute. Whatever gets you through. <laughs> and you keep going. Just keep swimming. That is kind of my motto this year. Just keep swimming. Alrighty. I will hop back in later and let you know what's happening. Look how cute. Oh my goodness. Hi, I just got a new uh, camera mount for the car. Hey, I think this is gonna work really nicely. All right, um, so I'm in a different car. This is our the car we used to drive all the time because the other car has problems. So, hmm. I don't think I have sunglasses in this car. Hmm. Not finding anything. I think all my sunglasses are in the other car. Arr. It's kind of bright out here. It is like 2.47. I forgot something. Okay, I'm back, and I snitched some of Caitlin's sunglasses from inside because I'd forgotten my mail. I have two packages of ink cartridges to put in the mail and a bill, and I'm going to check my P.O. box because <laughs> I think I might have a picage. So let's go see. to run to the post office, the gas station, and Dollar Tree because, yeah, I know it's just there, but I didn't get wreath making supplies. That's what I'm there for today. 
So I saw that video that I told you about from the southern, that southern girl, can't remember her name now. Um, her name is Amber, anyway. I don't remember her channel name exactly, but I linked it below. So I am going to get the wreath making supplies. I'm gonna try to make the exact same wreath that she did, or an approximation. I'm sorry if this is very jumpy footage. This is the first time I've used this mount, and it mounts to the windshield. And every bump we hit, every little dip in the road is like blah, blah, blah. So I hope it's not as wiggly on your end as it is on my end, but I'm thinking it is. So we'll see how this works, I don't know. My last camera mount was the same type, but then it rested on the dashboard. So this one, maybe I just need to put it down lower. I don't know, we're trying it out. This is kind of like suspended in space. I was hoping it'd be better, but I think it needs some support from the bottom. So this might be really cruddy footage right now. <laughs> And I apologize profusely for that. I'm trying things out. I also got a new tripod mount so that I could use my tripod. So we'll see how that works. I don't know. I'll probably be using that later because I got some things in the mail today. Yeah, so I have an unboxing, at least one to do. And if I find something in my P.O. box, I might have something else to show you, which would be really cool. All right, we're about halfway through town, which doesn't take long and then we'll be at the post office. Alrighty, we're at the post office. Let's go see what there is to see. If this is from Jeremy Michael book I think it probably is because the one of the papers said final notice it's a good thing I checked my box today I've been really bad about that it's hard to get here when they're open because you know they have like government hours which are not normal for people yeah normal people don't have those hours now if I worked in this town it wouldn't be a problem to get over here when the post office is open all the time but a lot of times I don't make it out of school fast enough to get here but it's okay now all right off to the gas station to get some gas for the color and then off to Dollar Tree to get wreath making supplies and of course I will take you with me oh you know I will Okay. Oh. <laughs> going through the center of town is always a little nerve-wracking because you never know what people are going to do. I think they get used to, there's not a lot of traffic, and so they don't always look. <laughs> and sometimes there is traffic, and if you don't look, bammo. And we don't need another one of those. This is the car that got blammoed last time. I don't even know if I finished telling you the saga of the car being hit by the guy. So if you've just joined me recently, you probably didn't hear the story yet, and if you have been watching me for a long time, I haven't updated this story for a while. What am I doing? I'm going the absolute wrong way. Okay, well, we're gonna go to Dollar Tree first. We'll go to the gas station all the way back, sure. Oh my goodness, I got Dollar Tree on the mind, apparently. Anyway, the story of being smushed. So Caitlin was at this intersection right here that I'm coming up to, as a matter of fact, by McDonald's. Oh, good gravy. Come on, people. And the guy that hit her was turning left, like I just did. And she was going straight. No, she was turning right. So he ran right into her. He did not have the right of way. He had a yellow light. She had a green arrow. Green arrow has the right of way. Everyone knows that. He admitted he was trying to beat her there. He was trying to, he misjudged the distance and he tried to get there first. So my poor husband has been through the ringer with e-surance. They were kind of a pain. So it's an online insurance company, which there's nothing wrong with that, but it's kind of hard to get a hold of people sometimes. So he contacted them back and forth, back and forth, back and forth for, gosh, 
it's been going on at least six weeks now, maybe two months. Whew, that's really bright. So finally, they've decided to pay out on the car. Well, they gave us a really low ball offer because we don't have a super new car, right? We don't have a very nice fancy car. The other guy had, what was it, a BMW or something, Mercedes, something like that. Some hoity-toity car. And um, of course, he was trying to put the blame on Caitlin and we got a hold of the police report where it plainly said, the officer wrote that it was the other guy's fault. Cut and dried, black and white, no questions asked, game over no chance of it being anyone else's fault but this guy so we sent a copy of that to the insurance company well after that they're like oh okay well because at first they weren't going to pay anything okay i'm at dollar tree trying to find a parking place because they, they park really weird here just like scattered everywhere it's weird okay so long story short they finally decide to pay on the car really low ball offer it won't even cover the repairs on the car And uh, so my husband haggled with them for a while and finally got as much as he could get out of them. And we're gonna try to find a body shop that can repair the car for less than what we originally thought. So at least we got something out of it. But they wanted to total the car and not give us anything for it, except for like, I don't know, $1,500 or something. You cannot buy a decent car for that. Our car, though it's older, is in good shape because it was garaged most of its life. And I have a mechanic for a husband. So he kept up on everything. So there you go. So it's not your average Joe Blow blue book value car, but that's what they're going with. So, you know, they're in the business to make money. So they're trying to. All right, Dollar Tree, here we go. There's a huge string of traffic here. What in the world? Holy moly, it's 3.30. It's like something just released. Oh, you know what? My town had school today. This is probably school traffic, oh goodness. And we're off. I was not able to film everything I wanted to film because I didn't have a cart. There were no carts available. I'm like, there are not that many people in here. Where are all the carts? I don't know if people have stolen their carts or what, but they don't have very many carts anymore, apparently. So I was trying to wrangle my little handled basket and get all my things and film, and it just wasn't working. So I tried to show you some things that I hadn't seen before. I figured there was no point in filming stuff that I'd already showed you, because it's more of the same old, same old. But I don't remember them having the fairy garden stuff last time, so I tried to show you that. And then I will show you the things that I bought when we get home. I'll give you a little mini Dollar Tree wreath haul. They didn't have all the ribbon that I wanted. Like they've been sucked almost dry out of that stuff. So important word to those who want to do crafting from Dollar Tree, which you probably already know this if you do that. Get things early. Like as soon as they hit the shelves, you need to be getting your stuff. No kidding. Because it flies off the shelves. I've never tried to make anything before, craft-wise, from Dollar Tree. I've seen a lot of people make really cool stuff. I've never done it, so we're going to attempt it. The wreath that I saw Amber make looked pretty easy. Just a little bit time-consuming, but most crafts are. 
they have they take a little bit of your time and some effort so we shall see and I hope I can find my glue sticks for my glue gun I can find all my glue guns but I can't find any of my glue sticks I might have to run to Walmart and get more glue sticks because you can't do the wreath without glue stick things won't stick yeah <sighs> all right so my daughter I think is going to go off with a friend and hang out for a while after I do my running around well nothing too much exciting going on right now so I'll check back in with you in a little bit and we're off the car is gassed we're gonna go ahead and go to Walmart because I have a little bit of time before my hair appointment Woo! getting it trimmed so I'm gonna try to film it as much as I can do my best because I haven't done it for a while and my haircut is a little different than it was last time I filmed it so I'm gonna try my hardest to get it filmed I don't think my hairdresser will care and I honestly am starting to get to the point finally <laughs> after my second year of vlogging I don't really care if people look at me weird I'm just like whatever part of it is probably my age I'm just kind of the age of I don't have any craps to give <laughs> and also just getting used to filming and it's like normal for me so whatevs I mean I'm not doing anything wrong so I shouldn't have anything to be worried about right yeah oh we're at a stoplight <laughs> so we're turning back the way we came when we went to Dollar Tree <laughs> the traffic was ridiculous like this is not a big place but the, everybody was out apparently. It's a very nice day. It's like in the 60s now. Yesterday was like 43, the day before, when Caitlin and I went shopping, it was like high of 34 that day, and it was 28 when we were out. It was oh, so cold. It was so cold. So I took the opportunity to clean out the little door pockets when I was at the gas station. They have trash cans there, very handy. Do you do that? I always empty the trash in the car every time I go to the gas station but it's not often enough. And I feel like Caitlin doesn't do that. <laughs> I always do, my husband does, she, she doesn't. I don't know, she doesn't like notice the trash. It like becomes invisible after a while apparently, I don't know. All right, going back toward Dollar Tree, but not toward Dollar Tree. So Walmart is just down from Dollar Tree. Wow, that sun is really, really bright. And we'll get some glue sticks and we'll just breeze through the Valentine section. Oh my goodness, dude, why? Oh, that was not smart. What are you doing? Oh goodness. So a pickup truck with a humongously long trailer, hugely long trailer, like three car lengths, just went across the road incredibly snail-like. He didn't have time to do that. He didn't have room to do that. Had to slow down quite a bit so I wouldn't run into him. I don't know why people do things. Apparently, he just figured you're just gonna stop for me. I mean, what's your alternative? Here's the problem with that though. What if someone wasn't paying attention? Then you've got an accident. And it's really not other people's job to yield to you when you don't have the right of way, you know? I mean, obviously you would if you could because you don't want to cream someone. But, just saying. A lot of silly behaviors on the road. I don't know if I'm noticing them more now or if there are just more people doing them, but it just seems like every time I go anywhere, I see several really silly things that people do while they're driving. I don't know what it is. I try to be super careful because personally, I don't want to be in a car accident. No, thank you. Yep, there's a school bus. They started back to school. I think they went back on the second, like a lot of you did. This is my last weekday off. I think I mentioned that earlier. So I still have a weekend and then we'll jump into our new year party and then back to normal life. You know, it is what it is. Can't have vacation forever, can ya? <laughs> Nope, then it wouldn't be vacation. That would just be life, wouldn't it? <laughs> All right, let's zoom into Walmart and see what there is to see and grab some glue sticks while we're there.
success at Walmart, found my glue sticks and a few other little things. I found some chips, not the ones Caitlin really wanted, but they will do because they don't have the ones she really wanted at this particular Walmart because it's not a super center. Wow. Another big string of traffic. And I also found her something else as a surprise that I think she will like as well. I feel like all I've done is drive back and forth because now we're headed toward where the gas station was. <laughs> so I went that way, then this way, then that way, then this way. But really it doesn't amount to much traveling because this town is not that big. It doesn't take very long to get from one end to the other. Goodness. Okay. Oh, this is fun. Oh, I'm not turning. I don't know what these people are doing. That was nice of them. That was one of those deals where the person across from me was turning left, also, but there's someone behind them. And I have seen people go around the person that's turning, and then they would cream you if you did that, you know, turn at the same time thing. So I'm always leery of that. <laughs> and here's the hairdresser's parking lot. I got run into here one time because a lady was worried about her cigarette. She dropped it and she continued driving while she wasn't looking at all. Not at all. Totally her fault. Ran right into me. She was stopped. And then she started driving while she wasn't looking. People are crazy. All right, we're at the hairdressers. Let's go in and get my hair did. Hello, welcome to my home. I wanted to show you what I found at Dollar Tree. So I'm using my new tripod attachment. I think it's working great, yay. So like I said in the car, I wasn't able to film everything I wanted to because there was no cart. <laughs> it couldn't hold my stuff and neither could I. So I had to make a choice. So let me show you what I found. Okay, well, I can get it out. Well, it's all tangled for my wreath. There's the framework for it, the form. And this one looks like it's a little broken, but it's okay, it's all good. My friend Amber on that channel I told you about showed how to fix that problem, so apparently that's a normal thing. Here's the sign I'm going to use. Isn't that cute? Love each moment. And I think that is going to look really pretty on my classroom door. Mm -hmm. I found this one too because I thought it was beautiful. And I looked through about seven or eight of these before I found one I wanted to pick up. Some of them had like the glitter was smeared or the burlap stuff was ripped or shredded or flaking or whatever. There was something wrong with all the other ones I looked at. So I thought this one looked pretty good. All right, then I got some of these, these are like the ones that I found before, but they're, are, they're bigger. And these are the same thing, but pink. I got four things of red ribbon. No, I didn't. <laughs> Liar. Apparently I got three things of red. Three things of pink with like red striping, glittery striping through it. Well, this, this is red and gold actually. And one of the white with the red striping through it because they didn't have any other white. So I'm gonna do something, something. Okay, then I got two things of the glittery, like hot pink and red pipe cleaner for the wreath. I got two spools of this white, sparkly shiny ribbon, two spools of this pink with the red hearts. I wasn't sure if I'd use these for the wreath or not, but I got this. If the camera bumps, it's because Peaks is helping. He's my helper. Okay, these. And then I got these because I thought that I could do something with my kids. Maybe we could put their picture on there or something. And this was too cute. I've been looking at this every time I go. This is like a door hanger. I thought maybe I could put it on my doorknob. 
Yes, it will be obnoxious every time someone opens the door, but then I'll know when people are coming in and out, won't I? Mm -hmm. There will be no sneaking in and out of my classroom, honey. And the last thing, nope, just kidding, not the last thing. I found this bag. I think I did film this because I didn't have my hands full at that point because these are right inside the door. But they didn't have the sparkly bag last time I was there, two days ago, yeah. So they got new stuff in. So I had to get the other sparkly bag. Be mine, look at all the sparkles. You know, I love me some sparkles. Yep, beautiful. Okay, last bag. I found some highlighters. I don't know if they're any good. I've had good luck with their markers, so I'm assuming their highlighters are just fine too. But I thought they were super cute. So it's got cactus and love and hearts. This was not in the Valentine section. This was just in the normal office supplies, school stuff section. So I got one for me and one for someone who shall remain nameless. Yeah. And then I got some cards. I don't know why I've never really looked at the cards from Dollar Tree before. Okay, it almost makes me physically hurt to spend like $6 on a card because they're gonna look at it and go, oh, that's nice. And then what? Some people do something with them. Most people, they sit around the house and then they throw them away. So it seems kind of silly. So I got some cards for Valentine's Day for my mom and my husband's mom. And from my daughter, mm -hmm. here's a mama card. And then I got one for my sweetie. We tend to get the silly cards rather than the sappy cards. I got one for my mama. Obviously, because it says from your daughter. <laughs> And then I got a birthday card for our soon-to-be baby adult. So I'm set for the next several card giving occasions. Found a runaway spool of mesh decorative ribbon stuff. So got one more pink. Now to Walmart. Okay, I went through the chip aisle. Probably a bad idea, but I love this stuff. Now there are a couple of things in here that are kind of look if you don't eat them with something else in here. Like these a little, um, I don't know if they are. Caitlin won't even touch this stuff anymore because she's gotten a hold of them and she's like, wah. So they're, I don't know which ones they are. They're these little things here, these little squares. Yeah. So she's like, well, how do you eat those? I'm like, I don't eat them by themselves. That's why. Okay. She requested these. This is not the thing she originally wanted, but then when I, I took pictures of the different chips on the shelf and said, would you like any of these? And she said, yes, this one. So I got two bags of that. And then as I was getting ready to go to the checkout, I saw these. She talks about these a lot. So I thought she'd really like them. And we've never seen them anywhere. So yay. Moving along with the chip theme. Got some plain potato chips. Because we have some yummy dip in the fridge. And these... I don't know if you remember, I used to love to eat these with chicken salad. And my chicken salad is just the canned chicken that's been drained with some pickle relish. I don't even put mayonnaise or Miracle Whip in it. I like it just like that. And scoop it up with these. Mmm, makes a great snack or a great lunch. Now for the uber super exciting stuff, like... Glue sticks. These have gotten expensive. This was $6. I don't buy them very often, so I don't see them go up in price. Deodorant. Excedrin, because I'm down to one tablet now. This is kind of exciting. You've seen these before, though. I wore these at the beginning of December, but I thought these would be beautiful for, you guessed it, Valentine's Day. And I have me some decals, decals to put on the red ones. That would be really, really pretty that I got from the Target dollar spot last year. I have not seen any of that stuff yet this year, but I'm going to be checking back and I will take you along with me so you can keep apprised of the new developments in the Target dollar spot as well. All right, now that I have the shopping haul out of the way, let's get to the fun delivery things that I got today. First of all, I wanna know what this is. So Jeremy Michael Book, if this is from you, I know I'm gonna love it anyway. So here we go. I 
think I need to cut the package. I'm not a good terror. Let's make sure I don't cut the thing itself. Oh, yep, there's some notes here. If I can read them, it'd be great. Huh, let's see. Ah, this is from Jeremy. Thank you, Jeremy. I don't even know for sure what it is yet, but hi. Hope you had a wonderful Christmas. Enjoy your gift from Jeremy Michael book. Yay! All right, he told me he got me a water bottle because I saw it on his blog the other day, and I'm like, what? You did? Where? <laughs> I went, oh, I have not checked my P.O. box for mm, days. Here's the box. Oh, I already like it. It says teach, praise, influence, encourage, mentor on the box. Oh, this is going to be so cool. so cool. Oh, wow. Teach, encourage, instruct, mentor, praise, influence, guide, inspire. That's awesome. Thank you, Jeremy. Oh, I love it. And it said on here it was a glass. Water bottle? Nice. That is beautiful. Thank you. Oh, I can't wait to use that. And then I can see how much water I'm not drinking every day. <laughs> but I need to be. Very cool. So fun to get things. All right. Oh my goodness, I forgot a couple things from Walmart. So here they are. I got a couple of cups. So this says coffee before worky. And it's just a little travel cup. Just pop the lid off. Put your awesome sauce inside. And hold it near and dear to your heart and drink it. And then I got this. A little glitter never hurt. And I thought maybe the glitter would float around. But it doesn't, which is probably good. Because then it just stays pretty all the time. My cups like this have been breaking lately. So I needed some replacements. And I found this one that was so cute. All right. I did not get a chance to film my hair at all because there was a lady directly behind me and I'm like, lady, do you have to sit right there? So I couldn't film any of it because I would have gotten her in the camera. Then there was a lady right next to me. So there was no way to do it, but I'm gonna let you see what it looks like from all the angles. Here's the front, obviously. Side. Back. The other side, back to the front again. <laughs> Didn't do any coloring, just did a trim. This was shaved with a six on the clipper. That matters to anyone. So here it is. It feels better. It doesn't feel so droopy and stringy and just dead and flat. Feels light and fluffy now. So there we go. All right, now it's time for something I got as a delivery today. It's the really good box of stuff. Yay. So this was supposed to come tomorrow and I was so excited to see it come today. So let's open it up and see what's inside. All right. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, okay. So benefits of your really good box of stuff. Let's see what it says. Congratulations on joining us for the must-have subscription box made exclusively just for teachers like you. We can't wait to surprise you with new innovative themed boxes every month. Benefits, we know teachers. Free shipping. Bonus offers. So you'll get your shipment every four weeks. Um, your satisfaction is 100% guaranteed. And representatives are here to answer all of your questions should they arise. When you get these boxes, there's something for you, the teacher, something for your classroom, and something for your students, which is super cool about these boxes. Let's see what's inside. Isn't that pretty? I love that. Okay, let's open her up. Let's see what's in there. Ooh. It says, Our class reflection. This paper is so pretty. Let's see what it is because it's kind of underneath everything. All right. It says reflection means to think deeply or carefully about something. 
let's reflect on the way our classroom works in order to make improvements for the rest of the school year. Three things we do well as a class, three things we can improve on as a class, three things we can do to promote our learning as a class. Ah, oh, this is awesome. Look how pretty that is. So yeah, this will be part of our new year party. Yay, or at least part of the week. Okay, and this is all rubber banded together. Let's see what this is. poster. Reflect, recharge, and refocus. Okay. Oh, little notepad. Reflect, recharge, refocus. I love this. This is really pretty with the swirly colors on the gold. So pretty. Okay, we've got <laughs> a little massager thingy, it looks like. Isn't that what that is? I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, what is this? Woodstock chimes. Let this box and see what's inside here. Oh, yeah, it's chimes. I know a lot of people in their classrooms use chimes as a transition signal. They use that in Daily Five as one of the ideas. Okay, I'm not sure how to, oh. Hey, I don't know how to work this, but it's got a, Oh, I love it. There's a mallet. It's all wrapped up here, but can you hear that? You can do. For different things. That's cool. Ooh. Neat. Okay, let's see what else is in here. It's what's on the inside that counts. Punch out the hole in this card. Oh, it's perforated here. Hold it up so the student's face appears in the hole. Take pictures of your students and hang them up on your classroom bulletin board. <gasps> Share your pictures on social media using the hashtag RGS box. Really good stuff, box. So it's like a little frame. Cool, awesome. Oh, it's some, there's some little books in here. What are these? They look like maybe little journals. Let's open it up and see. It's a lot of them, so it's for the class. All right, reflect, recharge, and refocus. So sometimes throughout the year, we need to reflect, recharge, and refocus. Th these three ways to get back in gear are as simple as saying hocus pocus. Information about you. It's a journal. It says this journal is a place where you can learn about what it means to reflect, recharge, and refocus. So there's a reflection part, there's a recharge, there's a refocus, and then goals. These are cool. And then there's stickers. It's what is on the inside that counts. Oh, there's a whole class set of these. There are one, two, three, four, six sheets. So there's 36 stickers. That's cool, awesome, perfect for starting off the new year. I always like to use the time after we come back from break as a reset button. They're a little bit older, they're a little bit wiser, they're a little bit more mature, they've grown a little bit over the few weeks you've been away, and it's just a good time to change things up a little and to remind of our goals and our behaviors and things. So it's just a nice time to start over if you want to, like a clean slate. This was an awesome box. Thank you, reallygoodstuff.com. I would recommend this box. There is a 50% off code down below if you'd like to get your first box. They are normally $29.99. So you can get it for half price with that code down there. So jump on that. If you'd like to try it out, there's no commitment. You can just get one box and go, eh, not for me, and don't get it anymore. Happy New Year. If you haven't gone back to school, I wish you the best. If you have gone back to school, I hope it's going well. I'm going back soon. I will see you later.